The date was October 9th, 2014. James Morrow had just recently arrived home from work. Morrow met up with a neighbor, and the two were sitting on his front porch talking and drinking. There was not a lot of foot traffic in the area that night. At 11.45 p.m., Troop County 911 received calls that someone had been shot on the 900 block of Whitesville Street. Troop County 911, where's your emergency? Ma'am, somebody just got shot. I just seen them. What's the address? Um, 910 Whitesville Road, apartment C. Okay, is the person breathing and conscious that was shot? Hey. He's not breathing. Not breathing. We are we saying two people are shot? Officers responded to the area and made contact with Morrow's neighbor, who stated that he and Morrow were talking and noticed an unknown subject riding past them on a bicycle. The subject slowly rode past, but no words were spoken. So Morrow and his neighbor continued to talk. A few moments later, the same subject who had rode past them on the bicycle reappeared from the southeast corner of Morrow's building, though this time he was holding a firearm. Without saying a word, he began shooting in the direction of the two men, firing multiple rounds. Morrow was hit once. The neighbor attempted to run from the area and received multiple gunshot wounds. The neighbor was flown to an Atlanta area hospital for treatment, but Morrow died on the scene. The suspect was described as a tall, thin, black male wearing all blue clothing. The suspect also had a hat or some type of hood over his head. Officers canvassed the area multiple times. Everyone described Morrow and his neighbor as quiet people. The neighbor said they kept to themselves for the most part and did not cause any problems. Most everyone that officers spoke with stated that when not working, the two would meet up on one of their front porches. The two would then listen to music, talk, and drink. No one could think of any reason why this would have happened to these two individuals. Officers received very little information on this incident. With few possible leads, we have been unable to identify a potential suspect. Troop County Crime Stoppers and the LaGrange Housing Authorities offered a $6,000 reward for any information that may lead to an arrest. It has been almost six years and no additional information has been received. If anyone has any information regarding this incident, we ask that you contact the LaGrange Police Department or Troop County Crime Stoppers.